Welcome back to another thrilling episode of German Custom Bricks. And today, uh, this is the new Henschel HS129 uh, Winter Camo version. And uh, this is actually the B2 version. And what we've done different from the previous one. Now, the last one I had was the North African campaign. And this one is now on the Eastern Front, War in the East is what the uh, title of it is. Uh, let's go over some of the features of the kit. So, uh, first off, of course, you've, uh, the underside, just showing off that it is a B2. And that is basically this 101 millimeter cannon on the bottom. That is what differentiates it between the B2 and the B3. The B3 actually has this that's called a Borda Canona. And this basically has like tank shells. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's throwing out some pretty, uh, pretty impressive stuff there. So, uh, this is going to be, I'll demo this one, how it mounts to the underside, uh, just the same. But this is the earlier variant uh, on the Eastern Front. And some of the things, basic stuff, you know, propellers spin, uh, the landing gear, they rotate. And they also fold in as well. So, you can fold these down. Both wings have a bomb mounted to the a hard point on each side. So as you can see there, and you can see there, they come off very easily and they reattach just the same. And I'm going to try and do this one handed here. So there we are right back in place. And um, what else was there? Oh, yeah, the um, the canopy does remove. So oops, actually, I'm going to grab it from the underside. So the canopy does remove. And of course, you can get your pilot out there and that you have to pop off the side assembly and you can slide him right out. And he goes back in just the same. So that's pretty much it. Markings as they are. Camo. This is a uh, dark green and white and yellow camo, uh, camo scheme. Now, one of the other things too to note is that uh, when the tail markings are yellow or white, those indicate which theater that the plane or plane was operating in. So any aircraft... That has yellow or white. White is for the Mediterranean, so North Africa, Italy, uh, that sort of thing. And then Russia is the east. Also introducing for the first time on a kit is the an aircraft stand. Now, I've never done one for a kit before, but this is the first time. So there's two variants. This will actually this stand actually is posable for two uh, both variants, the B2 and the B3. But I'm just going to show you here. This one actually just fits really nice into the bottom there. Nice little pin connection in there. And it sits like that. And you can change by the two sides there. You can change the elevation. So you can have it a little bit more of an attack. Or you can have it a little bit more flying level. Uh, which either way that you like. There, it does come complete with other the other parts that you need to mount the cannon on the other side. Now, if you so don't want to use the stand, you don't have to. But the kit does come with all the parts as you see here. So um, we're just going to show you just how that works and that by popping the the uh, plane off. Now on the bottom of the cannon here there's just this one by one tile here. If you don't want to show it uh, on the stand you just want to have the landing gear out then there's just this extra uh, slope back. You pop the one by one flat tile there off and then put this on there. And that just kind of gives it a little more rounded look if you just want to leave it displayed by the landing gear. So uh, let's take a look at reconfiguring the stand so you can put the uh, plane on it. I'm just going to start to fool around with this one, get this one apart, and pull the pin out, uh, remove this whole assembly here, uh, right on the side here as well, as well as that one that's supposed to come off too. comes off as kind of one, one big assembly, so like that. Uh, then we have to do a little other modifications. You just pull the two parts out there, stick the two by two in there, pop the this on there, put the tile on there. Uh, by taking the cannon off, you just kind of wiggle it off there, and uh, we grab that and we mount that right to the underside, right in the same slots there. Now it is a pretty big. Uh, cannon when you think about it because it does go the length uh, of the wing underside and these little two bumps out here that you see that's actually where the cartridges are uh, or the shells are actually mounted inside the, the plane fuselage and they load straight down into the Borda Canona and then this whole part out the back is where the shells, spent shells are ejected 
So after every shot, then it's automatically ejected out the back of the plane. So that's how that one works. So now we see the Borda Canona on the plane. Oops, I knocked that off the antenna. I got to watch. Uh, anyway, the the uh, pin mount is right in the center of the Borda Canona. So, oh, sorry, I just remembered. I got to take the, the the this out and actually fit it on there. So you push it in there. And then you mount it onto, it's just a little bit different than the other one. And there you go. So once that's on there, then there you have it. There it's in attack position. You can leave landing gear down or up. I just have it down for the moment just because I'm doing this little demo. So there you have it. That is the whole plane. Now, there is a pilot in the uh, cockpit there, but uh, it won't be included in the kit. Just because so many of you out there that uh, already have... Um, pilots or you know already you've got air crew already so uh, I've just decided to put in this aircraft stand so you can kind of have that dramatic uh, you know strafing run kind of look you know that you can uh, pose your henschel to swoop down on your favorite Russian T-34 you want to destroy <laughs> or an IS-2 that was one of the things with the uh, Borda Canona on it at the in uh, 1944 when that finally came out, there wasn't as many B3s uh, that came out toward the end there. But uh, I tell you, one hit, uh, they could definitely blow up one of those IS-2s. So that's uh, pretty impressive firepower. But of course, as you know, all tanks or weakly weakest armored on the top uh, versus the front. Front was always the heaviest, then the sides, and then the rear, you know, is lighter armored, and then also the top is lighter armored than that, because, you know, when you're fighting tank on tank, you usually don't run across that kind of stuff. But hen henceforth, when they came out with the uh, with the uh, ground attack aircraft like this one, that changed the game there. So all of a sudden, tanks became very vulnerable against air attack. So uh, that is it for the moment. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget, the uh, stand comes with it. Um, and plus the uh, the Mark uh, the Mark uh, 101 uh, cannon that also comes with it. So that is the complete kit. So thank you all for watching, and we'll catch you next time. Bye for now.